good evening everybody i am abhishek uh, and uh, so we are working on a product called nimble uh, based on gesture control and shivam asked me to come and share how we built the product rather than sharing about the product itself so the journey started in my first year uh, when we came to college uh, means uh, the very thought of controlling things with your hands and fingers was very fascinating for me uh, the concept has been there like for quite a long time beat movies like harry potter where they lift objects with their wands or minority report where tom cruise uh, like uh, manipulates uh, objects on a holographic screen so this was a very fascinating thought for me can i do something similar to that so we started building uh, none of uh, we are three uh, teammates here harshit and vivek none of us knew what to do where to start uh, nobody has prior experience in building uh, stuff or programming anything so but at that point of time what we had is what i later came to know is co called a growth mindset so so a growth mindset is a term recently coined by a very famous psychologist from stanford uh, dr uh, dweck so that says that like your body you can ex if you exercise your mind in the proper way you can increase your mental attributes so by mental attributes i define next so i'll just uh, intelligence and talents so you can basically improve your intelligence increase your talents if you properly exercise your mind so uh, there are two kind of mindsets uh, one is the growth mindset and that is a fixed mindset so these are a couple of graphs which i made myself uh, i love maths numbers graphs so i have plotted uh, uh, this mental attributes on the y scale and uh people who follow the fixed mindset of the thought that okay i'm born with a particular skill set aise rehne wala hu theek hai they uh, accept things very easily uh, so this was not the case with us so in this case uh you know ki okay i know to do uh, i know i can do this thing so okay i'm capable of, capable of only doing that but with a growth mindset uh you can work when you struggle when you face problems difficulties and you struggle with them you actually make neural connections which help you to grow your mind so with time you can see the graph of mental attribute is increasing in case of growth mindset so this was something which we unknowingly followed at that point of time uh, uh, also so now comes uh, what people can do to develop a growth mindset next so realize that you have a choice you have to have a choice to change things so uh, even my peers at iit kharagpur i um, i'm a li little bit embarrassed to say that uh, they do they don't realize that they have a choice to ch uh, change some things so they follow a fixed mindset the same pattern okay i have a four year or five year degree course i'll take up a job or somewhere uh, even if people have great ideas people have great ideas there but they are afraid of something i call mistakes uh, that they will fail and they give up on that idea so the next Ah, the next point. One should believe that mistakes are nothing to be ashamed of. We made a lot of mistakes. I've done a lot of mistakes in my life. Ah, uh, mistakes should be uh, thought of something interesting. You can explore them. Obviously, ah, uh, there are people who are like critic, who are going to criticize you, cynical people. Ah, uh, but uh, what I believe, you should, one should stay above them. So, ah, uh, we failed while building product a couple of times. The people who said, "Okay, you don't know programming," "Tum se nahi hoga," means there were people like that also. Uh, but you have to like get over that. So, which uh, this helped us. Uh, uh, we explored what mistake we did, spent time, struggled. So this helps you like in building your brain. And with time, you are capable of enough, capable enough of doing things, building things. So this is uh, what I believe. Next slide. so this is the product which uh, we have built it's a tiny ring which goes on your index finger uh, it helps you like uh, it helps you to control things also uh, it takes gestures as input from you and helps you connect with machines in a very intuitive way so ah uh, pause it seems so what is believe is that gestures are the best, uh, strongest medium of communication even a smile is enough to pass convey a message to your friend okay how are you i am fine and even a small wave of hand so that's the difference that's the barrier between us and machines 
machines can do that we are capable of doing that so uh, i believe that we should not be like the machines uh, sitting in front of another machine doing something so we wanted to make the way of communication more intuitive more natural more human so this was the inspiration of uh, building the device and in the first video we sh uh, show people using the device for playing games so gaming was obviously which we did a lot in our college so this was surely one of the inspiration that video sound me so also gaming kind of inspired us because uh, we used to play a lot of game like for 2 3 hours continuously but after that when we analyzed what we did we i just thought ki we were just monotonously clicking mouse buttons and pressing keyboard but so this was not something which is meant to be fun but uh, people enjoy because of the uh, very fast movement on the screen uh, a very uh, pixels move at a very fast frame rate so uh, but uh, we th this was something which i wanted to change myself being a gamer so as on the team i thought ki there are a uh, predefined set of commands which you can execute by pressing a mouse button what if you could like uh, replicate your motion suppose you are playing a game and uh, there is a uh, option to kill a kill your opponent so there is a predefined set okay you can only go and stab him in the stomach and he dies why not slit his throat or something what you what do you feel like so means you should have the like, yeah so you should have the freedom to do that so with uh, gestures i believe this would be a possibility in the near future hmm so the next video sir so also like uh, uh, we were lazy in our college like uh, some people used to come in our room and uh, when they left they uh, do not close the doors and we were like hey man close the door and go or switch off the light so we thought ki yaar matlab why to get up from bed you can if you could just do it from your <laughs> seat so this uh, so we build this now we are like uh, capable of uh, turning off lights uh, uh, from uh, where you are sitting from a distance of about 15 feet uh, also what uh, i was earlier saying about gestures being intuitive so this point we kept very much in our mind while building this because we did uh, we we wanted that people should not like go through a course to use the device it should be very intuitive so like if you are suppose uh, door knob uh, there is a door knob you, you intuitively know you have to rotate it this way so uh, or the earlier in, uh, when there were cassette players so you know okay there there is a small round knob if you turn it this way uh, uh, clock anti clockwise uh, the this uh, the volume will go down clockwise volume will go up so we try to incorporate that in the our product making a user interface as lively as and as natural as possible uh, video next enjoy wala so this are this was the inspiration which we took from the real objects we interact on our day to day lives and make it uh, and transfer the same thing to the virtual world so uh, it's to make the interaction as intuitive as possible for people not like uh, uh, you are learning to do something new but uh, this was again a part of my presentation where i said ki okay people can learn anything new if they struggle with the problems they face in their life so as i was earlier speaking about the fixed mindset people uh, now if you go back to your high school many of you have been bullies many of you have bullied theek hai so a, pe a person sometimes like makes the mindset a uh, person who is bullied i am i am i am weaker than him i cannot do anything i cannot stand up back to him uh, so i'll stay like this uh, this time will surely end so this is the pe these are the people with fixed mindset who like uh, even sometimes tell others not to stand up so until and only unless you believe that you have the capability you have the choice to make decisions and change things i don't believe you can ever do anything out of your uh, reach means uh, something new means like as steve steve jobs said make a dent in the universe so for that you have to like struggle and stand up to things which you thought you could not thank you